if you can see here, I had my local Napa mix me up some uh, 9Y medium walnut brown. And I've uh, started just a little bit right here. I'm gonna do it real light coats because I'm trying, you're going to try anyways, to get it to blend with my patina up here. So, I'm gonna try to do that. Hopefully going over the gray will keep it uh, a little lighter because I don't, you can't see over here, but it's dark and all this is faded, sun faded, and we're just gonna try to get it best we can because, like I said, this is a patina truck and we're not gonna kill ourselves to try to get it perfect. So, I sanded her with the, I think it was 400 or 600 and then I hit it with like a 3000 soft uh, sponge type sandpaper that wet sanded a little bit, but I don't wanna get like every little, I don't wanna have it perfect because it, the rest of it's not at all. So there's no use to really. This stuff is like having it mixed up is like uh, 40 bucks a can. So, I mean, it's pretty expensive, but for what that I'm doing, it's perfect for me because I just have little spots here and there that I need to do. And uh, for best, I'm getting so old. Like I, I can't see nothing. No surface. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes from now. So Three minutes, starting now. By the I, way, if you want to change your timer, try asking me. Change timer to five minutes. Okay, thank you. Weirdo. So, I'm going to give this about three minutes, and I'll bring you back and let you see the next coat. That'll be my first light coat right there. And we'll see how it goes on it looks really lighter on that side because so that's kind of scary but uh we'll see give it a few minutes all right so let's put on a second coat here this time a little heavier Now the reason, probably like, why is he not masking all that off? Is because I want it to kind of come out in here. So when I buff it, that I can blend that in with it just a little bit, hopefully. But as you can see right now, the second coat is looking way better. in kind of make it because it's you know totally different color up top so but I'm stoked it's looking great so far very happy so let me adjust this camera just a bit still trying to figure out all the camera stuff guys I'm not real good at it but I'm not a professional youtuber either DIY in my basement. Just 
working on cars, man. That's what it's all about. Just trying to pick something up for my kid. And just having fun doing it, man. I'm gonna make me a cup of coffee. Let this dry for a minute and put another coat on it. Be right back. Check that out, man. That's two coats and it is already blending in. Get on my Jeffrey Rigged hat. Check out his channel if you ain't checked it out yet. It's uh, Jeffrey Rigged. It's one of my buddies from here, uh, Southeast Kentucky. And uh, check his channel out, man. Let's get us some cool stuff. A wealth of knowledge, he helps me all the time. But anyways, this is looking amazing. I am stoked. There's a couple places that I definitely need another coat, which I'm about to do. And I'm gonna try to spray just like a little overspray over here so I can blend it in and not touch this part up here. So I kind of like buff it down this way to try to blend it into to the patina. Thank God, man, this is great. All right, here we go. A little That's where a badge was, and it come off horribly. Okay. Okay, that's coat number three. I can see a little uh, of the black primer right in here. So I may hit that one more time. And this is single stage, so I don't have to clear it. It's already got the clear mixed in with the base. So yeah, that's looking fantastic, man. I'm happy. It's real light on there. Walk my copy over. See that? That is awesome. And I'm like not a body man at all. I'm just an average DIY guy. And I am surprised at how good this turned out. I mean, it couldn't, couldn't be no better for me. Perfect. I don't even mind like the dark spot or the places because it kind of makes it blend in with the patina. So, yeah, that felt good. So I don't even mind that, man. Here's some spots right here.
one of my fatal flaws with working on anything. There's a little dark spot. Is I don't know when to quit. So I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit spraying anyways. Check out how this can works. They, this is at Napa. You tell them your, uh, look how good that matches. Like, you tell them your code, uh, color code. Mine's 9Y if anybody needs that color. They mix it up in this can. And uh, I don't know if they like compress it with air. It's got this little, if you can see that. It's got a little nozzle there that forces the paint in. And uh, I mean, it's like 2K paint, good stuff. Love it. So if you ain't tried that and you just need a little spot, like I started to order some uh, U-Paw, it's called uh, number nine, it's, it's called blend. So like at this stage at what I'm doing right now, if I was trying to make it fade in perfectly, which I'm not, because it's this is all kinds of different colors of brown if you want to get technical, where it's faded. But now, as this is still wet, you would spray the blend. And I think it's kind of like a thinner and it kind of melts the paints together. But I don't really need that because it's a patina truck. It don't really, don't really matter. But I can tell you right now, this is awesome. Love it. Love, love, love it. So, if you're trying to fix your, uh, some rust holes in your patina, I love patina trucks, but I don't like big rust holes. So, you've walked with me, man. I welded in metal, filler, uh, primed, uh, then got this paint and put on it, man, and it is, I mean, it's perfect. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Awesome. All right, guys, there's a short video on how to blend the paint. Just make sure, like, if you're doing the patina, you spray a little down here. And uh, when I when this dries, I'll probably let it dry for a couple days because I got a U.K. basketball game to go to tomorrow. Go Cats! I'll come back and buff this and send it back on the truck. Get ready for the aluminum heads. You hear me?